Chapter 18. Lewis gazed at the evening star's light on the bayou. It was so beautiful that Lewis felt the need to pull out his uh, Giselle. Slowly, he began to play a tune. Levine extended his hand at Tiana. Oh no, I don't dance, she insisted. Levine smiled and gave her a twirl. If I can miss, you could dance, he said. Tiana smiled as she and Levine glided over lily pads and under the placid bayou water to Lewis's sweet music. Tiana closed her eyes as Naveen led her in a dance, but when he leaned in for a kiss, she opened her eyes and jumped back. Lottie is getting herself one heck of a dance partner, she said, feeling a little awkward. We should be pushing on. Naveen was nodding sadly when a dark shadow fell over him and began dragging him off. Ah! Naveen screamed. Help me! Naveen! Tiana cried as, as uh, uh, more shadows uh, descended on him and yanked him away. Tiana chased after the shadows. She grabbed Naveen by the arms and tried to pull him back. Louis appeared and joined Tiana in a tug of war with the evil shadows. Ray grabbed onto Louis's tail and added his weight to the battle. Suddenly, foom, foom, foom. Several blinding flashes of light destroyed the shadows one by one. Tiana, Louis, and Ray looked up. An enormous, frightening silhouette was moving over a slope near a tree. They shivered in fear as the shape grew larger and larger. Then suddenly, a tiny old Creole woman appeared. She blew the smoke from the gourd she carried with her and placed her hand on her hip as she came to a, to a stop at the base of a large tree. They noticed that she was as wide as she was tall, about four feet in each direction. She was wearing sunglasses and had a big snake draped around her neck. They did not need to be told who the strange figure was. It was the one and only Mama Odie. <sighs> not bad for a 197-year-old blind lady, she, she said to her snake, Juju. Mama Odie was proud of still being able to push a few shadows around at her age. She waddled toward the group of friends and asked which one was in trouble with the evil Dr. Vasilier. Louis quickly pointed to Naveen. Mama Odie nodded as though the alligator was only confirming what she already knew. She turned and led them into a shrimp boat lodged in the gnarled branches of a nearby tree. She had turned the, the maroon boat into a house. She put her face up to the big snakes to, to get a kiss. Give, her a little, give us a little sugar now, Juju. You love your mama, don't you? As Mama Odie settled into a chair, Tiana nervously cleared her throat and gathered her courage to speak.